Hello Autodesk people. My name is Jay Ayala of Autodesk. I'm an engineering technical specialist based out of the Pacific Northwest and the video you're about to see is AutoCademy P 2010 Interference Detection Part 1. AutoCademy P 2010 has great interference detection tools. In this series of videos you're going to learn how to use the tool, how to collaborate with the results, and how to use better visualization techniques to better communicate those interferences. This video in particular, part one, will show you how to use the tool. All right, so the basic setup for this file is that we have AutoCAD architecture providing the background for us, and we're going to deal with interference detection on a ductwork drawing. So regardless of which workspace you are using, you will find the interference detection tool in the Analyze ribbon. And the interference detection tool is in the inquiry panel and what it does is it brings up a palette. It doesn't actually run the tool itself. It brings up the interference detection palette. Now I want you to notice a couple of sections here. We have MEP objects, building elements. We have clearances, interference analysis, and settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check some ductwork. And all I have to do is click on ductwork and hit the start button. And immediately what happens is we can tell that AutoCademy P has found a couple of interferences here. Now, in interferences, it'll tell us how many they are and what those interferences are in particular. So if I simply just click on one of these, what it'll do, AutoCademy P will autom automatically zoom to where that interference is. Now, also, I've got a, a, a ribbon, a, a contextual ribbon that's changing for me. So I can click on the next button, and it'll cycle through these interferences for me. So there's a few options in here that, uh, that we can use, but let's just take a look at all of this in a grander scheme. Now if I close this, it just warns me if I want to close it or not. So that's a very simple way to run the tool, but let's explore some more options of interference detection. So I'll bring the palette back up, and uh, notice that I can do ducts, I can do hangers, I can do pipes, and uh, I want to check for clearances also. So right now by default AutoCademy P always has clearances off. So we can simply turn that on by telling it that we do want to check for interferences. Now we can check for interferences on any of these objects and they can be different. So the ductwork clearance can be different from piping clearance. Now down in the settings I want to key in on this. It says keep interference mass elements when ending analysis mode. By default that's no, I'm going to change this to yes. And in the subsequent video you'll see why we want to do that. So immediately we can see that instead of two interferences it has now found six. And there's soft interferences and there's hard interferences. And let me show you what the difference is. Here in yellow when you have a clearance interference that's considered a soft interference and they're yellow and the difference between that and a hard interference is that the hard interferences are red, as you can see here. So let's go back to our palette. And let's, let's explore a few more things about this. Alright, so back in our palette, let's zoom in and let's focus in on a couple of other things. Now, I'm going to check against a building element. And what I want to check is my ductwork against a wall. And I'll go ahead and execute this. And in interferences, I can now see that we have 36 interferences that have been found. So what we can do with this is pretty interesting. We can sort it by the type, so soft comes before any of the hard interferences. Or we can sort it out by the type of interfering objects. You can pretty much sort it by any of these columns as you see here. But let's sort it by type. And uh, again, I just want to mention about the mass elements. This is going to be very important later for one of the other videos. So I'm going to keep them after I end the analysis mode. Now if I focus in on this first object here, I can tag this. Now I can tag it and it looks like a, a revision triangle tag. You can also use opening symbols or any kind of tag really. Now I'll go to my next interference and tag it as well. Now you can imagine this could get probably kind of cumbersome. So what we can do is we can highlight the entire list and tag it all at once. And what it does is it automatically increments the, the integer so we get uh, unique identifications on each one of these tags. Now I'll close it here. Now key to all of this is that my tags have been left behind as well as my mass elements. And uh, pretty much that's how I think that the average everyday user will use interference detection is to figure out 
what his interferences are. There are other ways where I think a company might want to collaborate these um, interference detections, and that'll come up in videos. Four things to remember about interference detection. Interference detection is found in the Analyze ribbon. Use interference detection to check your own work or to collaborate between different disciplines. You can also inspect hard or soft interferences. And if you're working in a multidiscipline or with multiple firms, you can leverage the interference detection for collaborative effort. On behalf of Autodesk, my name is Jay Ayala, and the video you just saw is AutoCAD MEP 2010 Interference Detection Part 1.